Good afternoon. Please stand for our alma mater. Good afternoon. I'm Reverend Julie Sheets, Campus Minister for Ecumenical and Interfaith Outreach, and it is my great joy to welcome you to the Baccalaureate Mass of the Villanova Class of 2016. We come together today as people of diverse backgrounds and traditions, drawn from across the country and around the world, but embraced as friends within the circle of this Augustinian community. Here we gather one last time with the class of 2016 to celebrate the past, to look toward the future, and to mark this tender threshold between the two. We gather most of all at this time to give thanks to God in whose loving presence all our journeys are held and made whole. So with the spirit of gratitude, let us pray. God of endings and new beginnings, God of all the spaces in between, we praise you for this precious moment in time. We thank you for our graduates and for all the gifts and graces that have brought them to this day for curious minds and open hearts, for the strength to go beyond what was imagined, and for discoveries in unexpected places, for friendships forged and barriers overcome, for prejudice disarmed, and deep learning across lines of difference, for laughter and loving and countless gifts given and received. And we thank you for every member of this gathered community, for parents and grandparents, siblings and friends, 
pastors and teachers and mentors whose dedication and generosity of spirit have made this day possible. Bless us all, we pray, and draw us together now in the spirit of your love, which is your gift to us this day and forever. Amen. Our presider today is Father Peter Donahue, president of Villanova University. Now let us join our hearts and minds in celebration as we unite our voices in the opening hymn.
the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Amen. Coming together as one people under the patronage of St. Thomas of Villanova, and guided by the abiding presence of the Holy Spirit, let us prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries by acknowledging our sinfulness before our God, who is full of gentleness and compassion. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us with one another and to make us one with the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you give us yourself to heal us and bring us hope. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you strengthen us with the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Grant, we pray, almighty God, that the splendor of your glory may shine forth upon us, and that by the bright rays of the Holy Spirit, the light of your light may conform the hearts of those born again by your grace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Genesis. The whole world spoke the same language, using the same words. While the people were migrating in the east, they came upon a valley in the land of Shinar and settled there. They said to one another, come, let us mold bricks and harden them with fire. They used bricks for stone and bitumen for mortar. Then they said, come, let us build ourselves a city and a tower with its top in the sky and so make a name for ourselves. Otherwise, we shall be scattered all over the earth. The Lord came down to see the city and the tower that the people had built. Then the Lord said, if now, while they are one people, all speaking the same language, they have started to do this, Nothing will later stop them from doing whatever they presume to do. Let us then go down there and confuse their language so that one will not understand what another says. 
Thus, the Lord scattered them from there all over the earth, and they stopped building the city. That is why it was called Babel, because there the Lord confused the speech of all the world. It was from that place that he scattered them all over the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, we know that all creation is groaning in labor pains, even until now. And not only that, but we ourselves, who have the first fruits of the Spirit, we also groan within ourselves, as we wait for adoption, the redemption of our bodies. For in hope we were saved. Now hope that sees is not hope, for who hopes for what one sees? But if we hope for what we do not see, we wait with endurance. In the same way, the Spirit too comes to the aid of our weakness, for we do not know how to pray as we ought. But the Spirit himself intercedes with inexpressible groanings, and the one who searches hearts knows what is the intention of the Spirit, because he intercedes for the holy ones, according to God's will. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
My sisters and brothers, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. On the evening of the first day of the week, when the doors were locked where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the reading from the book of Genesis, the people speak the same language. And suddenly, they decide to build this tower, a tower that will take them to the heavens. And God scatters them, giving them all different languages, sending them across the world, making them speak different, making it difficult for them to understand what one group is saying to another. It's almost as if he places within his creation this sense of confusion. When you arrived at Villanova, you came from different places. North America, South America, Asia, Africa, Europe, the Caribbean, Puerto Rico, New England, the West Coast, the Midwest, the South, the Southwest, and, of course, New Jersey. <laughs> and each one of you came with a different experience. And much like those people in the book of Genesis, you spoke a different language. You spoke a language that was familiar to you because you had come from a familiar place of friends, family, an environment that you knew and knew well, a place where you succeeded, a place where maybe you were the superstar. And you came to Villanova, to this home, to this place, and suddenly in your time here, your language, your differences started to merge together. And at this point in your time at Villanova, it is our hope that you speak a similar language, a language that allows you to truly understand what it means to receive an education at Villanova University, what it means to belong to a community, what it means to search for knowledge in your life, what it means to be passionate about that knowledge, what it means to be a person who is willing to serve the needs of others, what it means to be an individual who comes together to form a community that accepts the differences of other people. What it means to be an individual who, as part of this community, fights and struggles to push it forward, to bring it to new places, to make it a place where others are always welcome. We hope that in the time you have spent here, you have learned that language and that you speak it and understand it with each other. And now, as we celebrate this peace, this feast of Pentecost, it is appropriate that we send you forth. This is a commissioning, a commissioning for you to go forth and take what you have learned, that language you have learned, and start speaking it to others. On the Feast of Pentecost, the apostles gathered in a room. 
They were frightened, unsure. Nobody, nobody had a job. <laughs> and they were in this room and not sure what to do or where to go or what God was expecting of them. A person who they had grown close to, a person who they created an intimate friendship with, suddenly was gone, suddenly was no longer with them. But he breathed on them a spirit, a spirit that said, go forth and do for others what I have done for you. Be that friend of compassion. Be that friend of mercy. Be that friend of forgiveness. Be that friend who is willing to take the risk of loving and falling in love. Be that individual that I called you to be that I called you from very different places and de very different experiences to learn the language of the Father, to learn the language of God, to learn the language of what it means to usher into this world the reign of God. And that it was done by loving one another, by serving one another, by being the servant to others, and by taking the knowledge that you know and sharing it with others, and calling others to that reign of God, calling others to dwell in that kingdom, calling others to be a part of that great creation that God has given to us, to protect that creation, to nurture it, and to love it, and to share it with each other freely, without condition, without harboring any jealousy or pride or greed or discrimination to be an individual that was in this world and will be in this world the very presence of Christ to be his body to be his words to be his healing embrace to be the individual who lifts them up again to new life we come together to celebrate this feast of Pentecost. And we come as a Villanova community to send you forth. To send you out into the world, armed with all kinds of knowledge, but armed with a passion for that knowledge. A heart that has been ignited in new and different ways a language that you have learned from each other and for each other. And we send you forth with that spirit groaning within you, groaning within you to share with other people, groaning within you to bring a better world into being, groaning within you to lift other people up, groaning within you to create and cure all the injustices in this world. You have the ability, you have the knowledge, you have been given the tools, and we send you forth. We send you forth to take what you learned in this home into new homes, to new places, to new parts of the world where people, where people need you, where situations long for your knowledge and your abilities, where communities need to be built out of the information that you have, where a world is beckoning you to be involved. It may seem like a very scary proposition, but I, we, are confident that we have taught you a language, a language of truth, a language of community, but most importantly, a language of love. We, the faculty, the staff, 
your fellow students here at Villanova. We love you. We will miss you. But you are filled with a spirit, a spirit that groans within you and beckons you to go to other places and to learn and listen to the needs that others have. Confident that you have the ability to help them speak a new language, a language of the Spirit, a language of Christ's love, a language of God's compassion and mercy. Go, fill the corners of this world with the language of Villanova, with a language you have learned Oh, so well. My brothers and sisters, let us together proclaim our faith. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. The Father and the Son, he is more than glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins and the resurrection and the life of the world to come, amen. Lifting up our voices in prayer, we place our concerns in the hands of God, as Jesus taught us, responding, responding to each invocation with, Lord, hear our prayer. For all who spread God's word, especially missionaries, pastors, Let's start again. For all who spread God's word, especially missionaries, pastors, and lay ministers, that they persevere in faith, hope, and love, following the example of the risen Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For leaders of all nations, may they work for the good of their people by always seeking peace and economic justice in the decisions that shape our future. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the poor, for all immigrants and workers who do not receive fair wages, that they find hope in the love of Christ offered through the care of his faithful disciples and through our community's desire to serve the poor. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our parents, families, friends, Villanova faculty and staff, and all who have given us their support, guidance, and love through the years. May they know our heartfelt gratitude and may God bless them for their efforts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the class of 2016, may we cherish the moments of our time here and carry the spirit of St. Thomas of Villanova into the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those among our family and friends who are troubled, suffering, or ill, 
that they may find comfort in the healing presence of Jesus given to us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, especially the family and friends of the class of 2016, the departed members of the Villanova faculty, staff, alumni, Augustinian community, and students, Kinara Patel and Gary Lukashiewicz, class of 2016. May they rest in the eternal peace of Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those prayerful intentions we hold in the silence of our hearts, especially our prayers and intentions for the graduates of the class of 2016. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, you send your spirit to dwell within us and teach us everything we need to know to come to salvation. Hear these our prayers, that we may come to the fullness of life in the spirit. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, the risen Lord, who lives forever and ever.
Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Pour out upon us these gifts, the blessing of your spirit, we pray, O Lord, so that through them your church may be imbued with such love that the truth of your saving mystery may shine forth in the world through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you and lift up your hearts. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For bringing your Paschal mystery to completion, you bestowed the Holy Spirit today on those you made your children by uniting them to our only begotten Son. This same Spirit, as the Church came to birth, opened to all people the knowledge of God and brought together the many languages of the earth in profession of one faith. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as together we acclaim. <laughs> created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, to graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son and his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer to you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, 
so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, our mother of good counsel, Joseph, the apostles, martyrs, St. Augustine, Thomas of Villanova, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O oh Lord, advance the peace and the salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis and Charles, our bishop, and with all men and women who minister to your people. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned here before you. In your compassion, O oh merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on this world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, by the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Formed by divine teaching, we join together as one people, raising our voices in prayer. Lord, we pray from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live in forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And let us offer to each other a sign of peace.
My sisters and brothers, see what you believe in and become what you see. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. May this body of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Please be seated. In a moment, communion ministers will be stationed throughout the pavilion, including on the upper levels. Those seated on the floor, please go to the minister closest to your section. There will be ministers in front and at the crossing aisle. For those seated in the bleachers, the communion minister will be going up the steps to reach your row, so you do not have to come all the way down. Please gather all your belongings, whether you intend to receive communion or not, and approach the minister when he or she comes to your row. You will move down one row from where you are currently seated. Again, if you are seated in the bleachers, the minister will come to your row. Please follow the instructions as, as, from the ministers as you carefully move about the bleachers. For those who may be, see, uh, may be at Jake Nevin or Driscoll Hall watching the Mass, ministers will be coming to you shortly. A limited number of low-gluten hosts are available in the pavilion, should you require one. If so, please approach the minister standing near the distribution tables to my right, your left. For those who do not wish to receive communion, you are invited to come forward for a blessing by the minister. Simply cross your arms across your chest like so to indicate you wish to receive a blessing. Thank you.
May these gifts we have consumed benefit us, O Lord, that we may always be aflame with the same spirit whom you wondrously poured out on your apostles. Through Christ our Lord, amen. At the, at the conclusion of the ceremony, we ask that you just remain in your seats until the procession has reached the back of the pavilion. Thank you. If you thought that song was bad, it gets even worse. So. <laughs> Throughout the course of our Catholic Christian heritage, when members of our community would begin new journeys in life, family and friends would confer a blessing on them as they set out on their way. Many of you arrived on this campus in August of 2012, when you began your Villanova journey as a new student. At that time, your family and friends sent you on your way with a blessing at the end of the orientation liturgy. Some of you are graduating after completing undergraduate, others graduate, and still others postgraduate degrees in many areas of study that enriched your lives. Today, as the champion class of 2016 comes to a full circle, this phase of your education will end when you leave Villanova campus, a place you have called home. As honored alumni and alumnae, but now at this baccalaureate liturgy, it is time to share a blessing once again with your family and friends as you begin a new journey before you. In the true spirit of blessing, I now ask parents, family members, colleagues, and friends to stretch forth your hands to touch the head or arm of the graduating student and to repeat after me this blessing. Please, please begin by addressing your graduate by her or his name. May God bless you and protect you. May God bless you and protect you. May your heart and mind be united in faith. May your heart and mind be united in faith. So that you may be able to love wisely. So that you may be able to love wisely. Work creatively. Work creatively. Laugh heartily. Laugh heartily. And live honestly. And live honestly. May you use your education. May you use your education. To bring justice and peace to the world. To bring justice and peace to the world. For the benefit of our human family, and all of God's creation. And may you always know that you are loved. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless us, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. in peace, travel safely, and from everyone here at Villanova, goodbye. <laughs>